Hello and welcome. I'm Bio, and today we're continuing on with the Play Logic set. This time we're looking at Vertigo. Vertigo on the Nintendo Wii. Developed by Icon Games, published by Play Logic, and released on June 16th, 2009. The game was also released on PC and PSP. I think PSP was released as kind of like a... Not as a PSP Mini, but it was only released digitally on the PSP. So... It did come out... And by the way, this is pretty much only in Europe. It did come out for America. Um, so the European version came out on the Wii and the PC, whereas the American version came out on the Wii and PSP. So there you go. It says it's also compatible with the Wii balance board, which, yeah, I get it, because from what I can see, it looks to be some kind of, like, marble kind of balance game, as you can see from this, like, small demo there. Yeah, it does look like one of those types of games, which means doing it with the Wii remote is going to be absolutely horrendous, which is going to be lovely. But let's dive into it and see how we get on. Oh, get on with this. So, uh, edit name, I guess. Oh, God, this is. Don't you just love it when you play a game and you see, like, an inc incredibly basic kind of, uh. <laughs> it's just a very basic kind of, like, profile creation system. I've never understood the whole entire profile creation system. You just need save files. That's all you really need. You don't need to create profiles and attach a name to it. So we have arcade mode, career mode, practice, and bowling. Interesting. All right, let's jump into arcade mode then. Okay, so it has branching paths similar to Zionide Resurrection. Zionid Resurrection, or what do you want to call it? Where basically you can choose, if you want an easier path, you go for A. If you want the harder path, you go for H. That kind of um, progression. That's cool. Okay. Now, I do have the nunchuck plugged in. Which, it does look like you do need the nunchuck, I think. So. But let's see how we get on with this. With this game. Ooh, the tasty donuts. Alright, so how are we controlling this? Oh. Oh, of course, it's with the Wii Remote. Okay, I'm gonna stand- I'm gonna just go back slightly. Oh. Alright, we don't need the nunchuck. Don't know why the nunchuck's even in there. You have to have the Wii Remote on its side. Or maybe not. So you gotta have the Wii Remote completely flat. So yeah, you gotta have the Wii Remote completely flat, and then you like dictate which way you want to go. Yeah, time may be running out, but I'm trying. I'm trying to get used to this. Oh, I got a checkpoint though, right? It's good enough. Excellent. I will always be. A advocate for when you play a game for the first time this is the worst thing you could do to your player this is the worst thing you can do because it just makes me just want to stop playing the game like let me get used to the goddamn controls game right make me want to play the PSP version Unfortunately, I would play the PSP version. Unfortunately, the PSP version isn't published by PlayLogic. The Wii version is. You know, maybe the PC version is as well. Maybe that's what I should have looked at. But I guess it's just funny. Oh, come on. Ah, oh, weird. Come on. There we go. Oh, oh it, that just teleported me. Excellent. Whoa. What? Are you, what? What is it? What? 
What is it doing? It doesn't feel glitchy or weird at all. Oh my god. Thanks for saving progress. I appreciate it, game. Yeah, this, I can tell straight away. This is the other thing. I can tell straight away this is not my kind of game. So we can go... Yeah, no, we'll, we'll go that. Difficulty level two already. Great. Fantastic. This will get... It'll be funny if this ends up, if this ends up being a game where I go, I'd rather play that bloody hamster trail game by fucking data design, because at least that game just, like, doesn't throw you into it like this game does. Excellent. <laughs> oh, my, I've got lives as well. I've got lives as well. <laughs> What a joke. I, I don't... Uh, okay, I'm sorry, game. What the fuck is the point of lives being even a factor of the game? If the only thing you're going to do when I die is restart the course anyway. Oh, but the checkpoints doesn't matter. It doesn't matter at all. The checkpoints are invalid. At the end of the day, you you should treat I'm sorry, you should treat this like monkey ball. If you want to if you want to make a game like this, it's fine. But use monkey ball as your uh, as your kind of like inspiration. Because it, instead, it just makes me think I gotta be careful. Which is easier said than done, because this thing just does whatever it likes. You can see by the, the twitching of the ball. It, it, I, I didn't want to go over there, game. Thanks. I didn't want to go over there. I was supposed to go down here, I think. Oh. Excellent. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> It's not where I wanted to go, but yeah, okay. What happens? Do I get... Okay, just give me a bit. It gives me the time I had left. I guess. All right. Going this way. And then... Oh. There we go. <laughs> this is 100% not my, not my kind of game. The motion controls really don't help. They really don't. I'd rather be able to control the ball with the nunchuck, to be honest. Oh, now we're going up to level three? Really? Gonna be like that? Okay. I wonder what the career mode is like. We'll have a look. We'll do this course, and then we'll have a look to see what the career mode is like. If, you, if my voice sounds like it's a bit far away from the microphone, it's because it is. Because at the end of the day, I'm having to give a little bit of distance between me and the sensor bar, or else it just wouldn't control properly. Uh, excellent. Yes. Oh. Oh, we probably could be able to get over there somehow. All right. The ball is just un... The ball is just unresponsive. Makes me laugh, because it's like... Look at it kind of like go fucking spazzy and shit. Oh, almost, almost. We can, 100%. I'm, I, I am, I'm cheesing this level, 100%. Watch me do it. Ah, uh, oh, oh no, <laughs> almost. Almost. I'm cheesing this level 100%. I'm not playing stupid. No! No, 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 no. It's so hard to control. You don't understand how difficult it is to control. It doesn't help that I'm just terrible with motion controls anyway. 
Excellent. Just restart. Don't even give me the option to restart the course. Just, just, just go. Oh, that, that's the better thing to do. Boom. Level fail. That just makes me so angry. That makes me so angry. So you can't super monkey ball the shit? You can't super monkey ball. 2009. 2009. There's no excuse you couldn't copy fucking super monkey ball. Yeah, but this isn't the... This isn't super monkey ball. I don't give a fuck. It should be. <laughs> God damn. I just... Uh... I want you to understand, I like a game that gives freedom to player, right? I thought I was doing a big brain move, like, oh, yeah, I found a shortcut. No, the game doesn't want you to play it like that. It doesn't want you to play it like that. What a load of shit. Why would I want to play it? Like, let me have the freedom to do what I like in the game. Oh, but you missed two checkpoints. Okay, but why is that a, why is that a feature? The checkpoint should be there to allow me to continue the course not be there as a requirement of me having to hit them. This isn't a racing game, boys. I ain't doing laps. I don't know. It's just fucking weird. It's just really weird. Alright, let's try the career mode. What's, what's that like? Oh, we got Zorb tuning? So this is what this is. And we have auxiliary... Okay. Oh my god, they made this weird, didn't they? Oh, we've already had a little go in the Metroscape. Let's do the Rocky Canyon. So this is Zorbing, apparently. We're Zorbing right now. I'm Zorbing all over the place. Apparently. And then we'll have a go at the bowling. Which I have a feeling is going to be the best mode in the entire game. It wouldn't be so bad if you didn't have to rely on motion controls. I'll give it that. I'll give it that. But this game was released on Wii first, so this was, as far as I'm concerned, the intended way to play. <laughs> oh, it's a joke, isn't it? It's a fucking joke. It's a, just a joke. I like to remind you that it's like it doesn't exactly do what I want it to do half the time. Barely enough speed. The hell did I hit there? What was that? Oh. Oh, excellent. Fantastic. Oh, yep. What are you, what are you doing? Thanks. Excellent. Also, the gate should give me more time. So when I hit a gate, it should extend my time by like five seconds. 100%. Oh, okay. I didn't realize that was that. Why are you going that direction? I just don't understand half of where the ball is wanting to go. Just stop being weird. Excellent. Well, well, we skipped something, and there's a checkpoint here, so we want to hit that. So let me hit the checkpoint. And then turn around. Turn around. Thanks. Go that way. Go. It just doesn't want to play ball. <laughs> It's a ball that doesn't want to play ball. It's excellent. Just zorbing all over the place. Oh, so that's a special, is it? Okay. Little collectibles that you can get. Like this, I'm not saying this is a bad game, right? Level there we go. I'm not saying that this one at least gives you the ability to just do it at your own pace. But I don't get a medal. I get, uh... Why don't I get a medal? Why doesn't the game tell me exactly what times I need to hit? Okay, tell me what time I need to hit. Every every design choice that this game has just irritates me. Okay, there we go. Okay, so it, it was at the beginning of the level. Fine, I'll give it that. That's fine. So to get bronze, I need to do it in one minute and 18 seconds. And I couldn't even do that. Yeah, I'm not. I'm just not a fan of this game. This is just not my game. This just. This is just really not a game for me. Yeah, okay. There's a practice mode, but I don't care. It's really not my game. My kind of game, to be honest. 
it's just, I don't know, there's certain design choices that they have and certain, like, again, maybe if I was playing this on PSP, I'd have an easier time. PC as well, maybe it would be have an easier time as well. All right, just do a single game of, uh, single game of bowling. Of this Zorb bowling, whatever this is. Oh, 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 oh. Almost, almost couldn't even hit the thing. Three to go. I just don't understand why it suddenly just goes in random directions. You look at it bloody glitching and shit. So I got seven one there. Okay, so that's how the Zorb bowl. I'm not playing any more than that. I just want to see what the Zorb bowling was like. And that's what it's like. I'm not going to play any more of this. I'm I'm sorry. This really... I, 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 will, I will be honest, right? And I'll say that I have mixed feelings towards this game. And the mixed feelings come from mainly the motion controls just being ass. What a surprise. Um, I think all motion controls are ass, by the way. They don't serve a purpose. Um, besides making the game irritating to play. I can understand the point of motion controls when you're drunk with friends. Besides that, though, I don't see the see the, see the point. Go play a Game Tracks game. Go on, go, go play Real World Golf with the Game Tracks and tell me how great that controller is for motion control. It's not. It's fucking horrendous. So I just don't understand it. You know, I had a PlayStation Move when I was younger as well, and I just... I just didn't get it. I, just, I didn't ask for it. I just got it. I just got given it in a birthday present. I was like, okay, cheers. Thanks. Didn't want to ask for it. Got like three games with it. They fucking never played them because I was, hated it. <laughs> I'm just, I like a game that allows you to have full control. So it's very hard for me to recommend a game where you don't have full control of what you're doing in the game. Like an emotion controlled game. And this is a game, you can get away with it with something like Mario Party. You can get away with it with, you can even get away with it with a racing game, because generally speaking, you can manage. You'll struggle, but you'll manage. But this is a game that needs pinpoint precision, and you have it be on the Wii first. It's just the most retarded fucking thing I could ever think of. So I do have mixed feelings towards this game as a whole, but the Wii version, I cannot recommend just solely on the base basis that it's just fucking just not a game that I'd ever expect to even work on the Wii whatsoever. Regardless of it being compatible with the Wii balance board bullshit, right? So I'm going to call it there. I've been Bio. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.